Hey, welcome back y'all. Today we are starting another exciting project out here by this old chimney. We're gonna build a little path or a little walkway right here. We're gonna use these old bricks that I got from another chimney that I tore down on the property a few years ago. So the first thing we need to do, we're gonna get these uh, this little brick border. We gotta move it out of the way and we gotta spread this dirt pile out. Are you gonna see me using this tamper? This is from Harbor Freight. You know, it works, but not really, I don't really like this thing. The handle is way too fat. I used to have a nicer one. I think it was the Cobalt brand. Came from Lowe's. Of course, somebody stole it from me a few years ago. So this one was cheaper, I bought it. It works, but uh, you know, if you're wondering about this thing, the, the handle's really fat, it's not very comfortable. We are slowly getting there. We're having a problem though. This dirt is wet. I dumped this dirt out um, maybe a week ago and then it's rained the last couple of days. So the dirt's pretty wet. I should have went ahead and spread it out the day I put it here, but you know, I like to procrastinate. So you can see got a lot of dirt, mud sticking to the bottom of this. We're just gonna have to keep, like I have to keep stopping to scrape it off of there, but we're gonna just keep working. We're gonna call that good enough. I did not put a level on this. I don't even think it has that high of a level of compaction. This is not a real walkway. It's really just like a landscape design or uh, I can't think of the word right now because it's low 90s, 630 at night, early August. I am miserable, about to sweat to death out here. So we're gonna throw some weed fabric down and we're gonna put the bricks down and it's gonna be good enough. It is the next day. I had to stop yesterday, had to put some hamburgers on the grill. I didn't realize it was seven o'clock, it was dinner time. So uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's got to be close to 90 degrees already. It's miserable out here, very humid. Got the canopy set up, so we'll be moving this around so we get a little shade to work in. We are ready to start throwing some bricks down. It's been a few days since we worked on this project. I had to stop the other day because we had some thunderstorms roll through. We are almost done with this brick. I think I'm gonna add one more row of bricks. And this outside border here, I'm actually gonna have to move it out a little bit.
to finish off these bricks, I've got this uh, perforated angle iron. Got this free from my brother, so I appreciate that. I bought eight of these eight inch spikes. I'm gonna put four on each side. I got a piece over here too. So the angle iron, I'm just gonna kind of sandwich the bricks together. Hopefully that'll help hold it in place. And then there'll be pine straw out here to cover the angle iron. It's been a few more days since we worked on this project. It seems like it's taken forever. The heat in August, it's been brutal, but things are looking really good. We're slowly getting it done. I'm probably gonna get some comments about how I'm not building this little path the correct way. So let's talk about it. I am not putting anything in between these bricks. If you're building like a paver or a brick walkway, a driveway, you probably wanna use something like polymeric sand. You put it into the cracks, I think you brush it in, you wet it down, it locks things together, keeps the weeds and the bugs out, I think. I'm not doing that, so these bricks are a little bit loose. There's gaps in between them. I don't care. This is like, it's for decoration, it's just for looks and like a landscaping project. It's not perfect. I don't want to spend another 25 or $30 on a bag of polymeric sand. These bales of pine straw were $5.75 a piece. That one only covered, what, about a five by five box there. Now I am putting it very thick because it's the first time, you know, late in the future when I put a top layer on, I probably won't have to do it as thick. That took six bales of pine straw. So what was that, about $36? Yeah, like $36 in straw. It's really thick. So we're gonna clean it up with the uh, blower. And of course, once it rains a couple times, it'll flatten it out. The sun is going down. We're gonna call this project done. I think it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. Now we can start working on other things like some more bushes and plants and a flower box. And I'm not really sure what all we're gonna do out here. We're gonna figure it out as we go. We've been wanting to work on this for a long time and we, uh, we're finally making some progress. Thanks for hanging out with me on another project. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you soon.